hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so today we are going to check about how we can use curl command on windows we can use different options of curl like get post put delete and head so for that i am referring my blog so blog link is providing it into video description so let's start with uh, what is the curl command so basically curl is a lightweight command line tool for making your HTTP request or REST calls uh, without web browser. So we can execute the REST API endpoints and HTTP methods with, with command line. So curl will let you a various API request in command line interface such as command prompt uh, in Windows and terminal in Mac OS. You don't need to build your working web application uh you, you just need to try out your apis by using command line so uh, they, they, we can execute different types of uh, http api like uh, we can use the get request we can uh, create the request that is a post request we can update the request that is a put request we can use delete request or we can just get the headers of that api so for that uh, we are taking help of uh, some uh, so some URLs which provides the uh, testing uh, fake APIs for uh, your HTTP method testing. So that is requestbin.com and requestrest.com. So basically starts with uh, how we can install curl in Windows. So we can use curl uh, in, in different different tools like by using Windows. Uh, we can uh, use the curl by using Git. We can use by uh, using Sigwin, we can use by using Texia on Linux. So you, we can install that tools and we can run the curl command on that. So we, we are checking the basic uh, operations of curl. So on Windows, so uh, we have to go to curl's official website that is a curl.haxs.se. So here I mentioned all steps, just I'm demonstrating how we can execute that so just go to this download page and download your installer so this is the uh, official page of curl so where you can find the windows so you can see here windows option is there go to windows 64 bit and here just download this binary click on this curl 64 bit so you can download this uh, installer yeah so installer is downloaded now go to the folder where installer is downloaded so copy this go to your c drive and uh, create one folder like uh, curlin in your uh, c drive just paste the downloaded setup file just extract it Yeah, so meanwhile we have to download one pm file also uh, pm file also so that is i mentioned here go to this directory and download the digital certificate for that pm which is it required to run the curl command through your uh, windows command line so just go here okay so here this csr.pm so just click on it so it will be automatically downloaded yeah so so here we have extracted our setup so this is our home page for uh, home directory for your uh, curl command so just copy the same file also that digital certificate also in your installation directory of uh, curl okay so so this is our uh, home directory of a curl so we just need to register this into environmental variable as uh, I, I mentioned into the steps so register installation directory into environmental variable and restart your command line so yeah so just go to your uh, right click on this pc go to property file properties of uh, your computer go to advanced source system go to environmental variable here you can locate the path say edit and say new and just paste the directory of home directory of your curl let's say okay 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 
yeah so in your uh, home directory of curl just type cmd and enter so in order to verify our curl installation so just uh, copy this curl command to ping the google.com or to fetch data from google.com just enter so you can see we got uh, this uh, html page from google that uh, your curl command is execute, executed successfully and we got this uh, response for your curl yeah so basically uh, if you want to do api testing or data transfer via, via curl so uh, we can use the tool uh, called uh, git bash so by using git bash we can smoothly test our uh, api endpoints and http methods and uh, we can do the data transfer also so for this uh, we can use the git bash on windows or on linux also we can use git bash so for uh, for this uh, in, for installation of this uh, so just go to the git home page so where you can download the uh, latest uh, release of uh, this git software so just download it and install it so i, I already installed it so you, there are simple steps i have mentioned here same like uh, above so just download and then uh, uh, register your installation directory into environmental variable and then uh, open git bash okay so i'm directly open git bash so let's say git bash so this is our git bash so to verify if curl is working just call the google api yeah so we got this html page so this is working now moving further <clears throat> so so there are uh, common curl options or uh, uh, there are uh, few options we can try with curl command so that i mentioned here like uh, we can use uh, uh, dash dash head in order to fetch the headers only that we we are going to see in following uh, below examples then we can uh, like include uh, the http response headers in our response then we can specify the minus i then uh, by using minus x specify the custom request method uh, to use the communication with the http server so that i'm going to cover so minus h is the extra header information for http request so that also i'm going to cover then silent silent means uh, you cannot print uh, your verbose or details of your uh, curl command then uh, verbose means it, it is opposite of uh, silent so uh, we can uh, execute the details of your command line then minus d is a flag stand for data input okay so let's start with our uh, main execution where uh, we, we can start with the get request of curl command so executing the curl with no parameters on a url to execute the get so like i mentioned so i'm using this fake api so this uh, uh, this this web is providing uh, the fake apis in order to work with uh, test with uh, the rest uh, api or curl commands like this so uh, here i am using one header that is a uh, minus h we, uh, we are we are adding one manual uh, header so we are uh, telling your request that uh, i am sending the data in json file okay so copy this curl command go to git bash and just say yeah so uh, this curl command is executed and we got the acknowledgement that it is a success true so uh, so this is our gate request and uh, we got the uh, response so this way we can like uh, get your uh, uh, http method so we can try another example like uh, we can uh, get the data from another source so this is the request res.in so just say enter yeah so See, we got this json uh, as a gate request so you are hitting uh, you 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 want the the response for uh, the users to so this endpoint we need the data api users to and uh, we got this json 
So this way we can use uh, uh, like a get request. So if you specify minus i, then you will get the verbose or include your parameters or include the response details. See, so he, here I got the JSON and here I got the request information like what is the accept ranges, so what is the content length, content type is a JSON. So this, these are like metadata of your request. So this is like a, this is for get request. Now moving to post request. So post request responsible for posting of your data or creating of your data. So here I just mentioned one example like uh, we are uh, using this uh, uh, this uh, this ready made uh, api so we we are going to test that so we are posting some data so let's see what it returns okay yeah so we got flag as a success as a true so we have posted the data to this url and what data we have posted like uh, this id customer quantity and price so this data we have posted and we got the success flag also so we can try one more example so we are posting the data so we are using another api and uh, yeah so here uh, we have created uh, this data email this uh, password and we got uh, we posted this data on server and we got the acknowledgement with the token so our post is successful and server sends our uh, the token for your uh, request so this way we can uh, execute the post request then we can uh, use the up, uh, we, we have a requirement like update certain data so or, or put some data so for updating our data so we have like a, some command so here inside my request so i am updating my uh, this is my rest api endpoint so for user number two so i am updating this data okay so job and name okay so for this api so i am updating this data so we got the response updated at this this okay so our data is also updated means your update uh, request is also working so for that we are using this x minus x so i mentioned like minus x specify the custom request method to use with the http server so with using minus x we can specify the custom request so we can use the delete also so for example uh, we want to delete the number two user so for that just copy this command go to command line right click and say test yeah so we got the response so this user is deleted okay so this way you can use delete also then one more uh, thing is there like uh, we can use the head request head request means if you want to check the resources uh, with 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 what kind of headers it is supported or uh, provides uh, so that that is the like metadata information in your response headers so i want to know like uh, only metadata of my request or uh, suppose there is a situation that uh, uh, i want to just uh, sanity um, of my rest api so then i can use this uh, minus i minus x and head so this will provide you the header information only so not actual data okay so you got this header information content type is application json content length is this so this is for uh, sanity checking of your rest api endpoint now moving further uh, so we can get the data in xml format also uh, for, so just you have to mention that uh, accept application xml instead of json you can mention your header minus h minus h is the header and inside that header you can mention accept xml so just copy this and 
execute this yeah so we got this xml response and so just like previously we got the json response so now we got the xml response yeah this way we uh, we can uh, test our api endpoints uh, or rest endpoints or http methods uh, by using get post put delete and head so by using this technique so we can post your data we can transfer the file we can uh, add, uh, create the data update the data delete data we can fetch the metadata of information by using curl command yeah so that's all so if you have a question you can post in comments and thanks for watching this video so keep tuned for uh, next videos thanks a lot